Hey guys, in this video I wanted to give you an update on why I haven't been uh, posting videos or really been online or on Instagram or anything uh, for a few weeks now. Um, I've actually been really busy in my house um, and uh, the result of that is my shop is no more. So let me uh, show you what's going on here. So uh, there's the mill. You can see it's drug out into the middle of the floor. Uh, this um, room or this part of the shop is being uh, converted into a bedroom and you might notice uh, the lighting is different and it sounds totally different uh, at least to me because of uh, all the batting or not batting but uh, cellulose blown in insulation they just wrapped this up today um, we had the framing done a few weeks ago of course everything's always behind schedule uh, the the mill used to be right there this is now going to be a, a really wide closet um, and um, the, the giant file box, these are old architectural drawing uh, file boxes that I was able to get uh, for free years ago. And uh, these are what I use for my toolboxes. They used to be to my back whenever I was standing here at the mill. And then the lathe used to go right there. You can see where the uh, chuck has thrown uh, you know, oil and stuff up against the wall. So this space was finished as far as the walls. Um, when I moved in about five years ago, we moved in here and then um, and then had the basement finished. And now what we're doing is we're converting the basement into an apartment, uh, which some family members are going to be living with us for a while. And then eventually it's going to become uh, a basement rental. And that may sound weird to a lot of you, but in my area, it's super common. In fact, in my neighborhood, uh, more than half of the homeowners are renting out their entire basement. And my house, we've got way more space than we need, although my shop has been down here taking up about 400 square feet of it. And so uh, we'll be moving the shop into the garage. So I thought I would just kind of, kind of uh, show you <laughs> the state of things. Um, I've been running uh, these light ballasts, and that's only half of them, in my shop this whole time. And uh, now I've got canned lighting in. Uh, drywallers are supposed to come tomorrow. You can see we had to have uh, framing done around this, um, around all this duct work. When the house was originally built in the 90s, they had planned on a wall uh, being right there, going all the way down. And this would have been a hallway. And then the wall turned um, right there, or just inside of this wall, actually. And uh, this would have been a bedroom and then a hallway down here to a smaller bedroom. Um, the little bit of framing that was in here was metal studs and I tore all that out when we first bought the house to turn it into just one large space and now we're separating it back into two spaces. But the ducting should have been put in this section here uh, where the hallway would have gone. That's the normal thing to do or put it along the outside wall so that you have more of an open ceiling. But it's not... Uh, cost effective as a rental to move all this ducting so we just built a soffit around it and um and this is uh, the result so this is what the shop looks like now uh you can see i've got this two by eight foot bench and there's another one upside down on it uh, that one used to be in the corner so i had 16 feet of bench and in fact uh before we started moving things I was standing about right here and I took one of those uh, Android 360 world, what do they call them, like sphere views uh, of the room. So let me switch over to that real fast. So here you can see uh, there's kind of a square table here in the middle. It's just a big mess. Um, I don't have any storage in this shop. I've never built vertical storage, uh, a couple of totes, and that's about it. And the, re the, the reason for that is when I built this space out, I thought it would be nice to just have these two really long benches so I could have multiple projects going all the time because I'm the kind of person who starts a project, gets a little way into it, starts another project. And then, uh, you know, I come back when, uh, when I feel like it, this has actually been a huge mistake and it's just resulted in stuff being stacked on top of stuff. And I've never bothered to spend time or money to fix this up or clean it. But now that I'm moving into the garage, uh, my plan there is to leave myself pretty much no flat surfaces. The, uh, the big file boxes or file, uh, cabinets, toolbox, whatever you want to call it. Those may be the only flat surfaces. Everything else is going to be shelving, um, because I've learned my lesson and the more flat surfaces you have, the more clutter you have. All right, let me bring you back here to the, uh, to the space as it is currently. You see the old, uh, Harbor Freight drill press. 
So this is going to be... Oh, my phone cut out on me there. Um, dang it, I already forgot what I was saying. I lost my train of thought after I was trying to figure out why my phone stopped. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, you can just see this is all <laughs> gutted. So this... Um, like I said, this will be a bedroom back here. So the layout's going to be a little bit strange. Uh, this will be kind of an extra bedroom. And then this is going to be a kitchen right here. Uh, there's a bathroom on the other side of that wall. Uh, this, what used to be the family room, well, it, it's still going to be a family room, but now it's just got all my crap stored in it. Um, all of my um, shop stuff is in most of these totes, most of that shop stuff. And uh, we've had to move everything back and forth so many times to, for, you know, so the uh, contractors could work around it. Um, it's just been total chaos. I mean, look at the mess down here. We, nobody's been trying to clean up or anything. Uh, so yeah, so there's a bathroom, furnace room. There's a bedroom down there. Uh, that used to be my office. Now it's just packed full of stuff. And that's where my computers were, where I do all my video editing. Um, and then this staircase, uh, this would lead up into my uh, kitchen and dining room. Uh, and then I've got a living room uh, right up here. But what we've done is we've walled off around my staircase and then we've cut open the wall here. And actually, I'll just show it to you real fast. We're going to get really bad lighting. It's so quiet with all this batting. It's kind of eerie. So this will be the, uh, the entrance for the people living in the basement. And I'll just kind of show you what I did here. So there's the garage. Uh, we, we basically took four feet out of the garage to build this hallway. So the garage can no longer be parked in because it's too shallow, but it immediately answers the question, where do I put my shop? And I'm not gonna show you in there right now, but I'll show you later. So let me turn back around. Sorry, I'm getting a little winded already. Uh, so you can see we kind of made a, just an entrance way and I put in a, just a little pony wall. That's so, you know, you can lift couches up and get them in here. This will actually be a doorway. Let me back up again. So the, uh, the people who live in the basement, my family for now, they'll come in and have an exterior door here. I'll have my exterior door here. Uh, that's the exterior door that goes out to my side yard. This will be an exterior door going into the shop. So yeah, anyway, that's it. That's where I've been the last, I think it was six weeks ago, we first contacted our uh, carpenter to have him start framing. And like I said, drywall supposed to start tomorrow. I hope that actually happens. And then uh, I was hoping, my plan was by the 1st of September, I was going to start putting the shop together. Uh, that will actually happen this weekend. Now that my insulators are done, I'm going to go do a little mud work uh, just, to, just to patch up some holes that they drilled and a few other little things need to be taped. And then I'm going to paint the walls about shoulder high. And uh, then I can start moving all of my shop stuff into the shop, up against the walls, getting it organized. Then I'll paint the rest of it and, and do the ceiling. And then I've got to put in a ton of wiring. That's going to be a giant nightmare. Uh, I do a lot of this stuff myself. Anyway, um, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.